So if we would like to set up an integral to evaluate the volume of a cone that has a height of 12 inches and a radius of 3 inches, we could start by drawing a picture of our cone just to give us a frame of reference so we know that that is 3 inches and the total height is 12. Well what we'll do now is we're going to put in a slice and look at the volume of that slice and then use an integral to help us out. So here's some arbitrary slice. I like to give it a little bit of thickness even though theoretically it's going to have an infinitely small thickness. But uh, let's call that dh for a change in height. Now this slice has some radius. Let's call that radius there r sub i. And it has some height from or distance from the top, we'll call it h sub i. Now first off, we want the volume of this thing, so the volume of the ith slice, well the slice is just a cylinder, and it's pi r sub i squared dh. Now we have kind of a mix of variables here, so we'd like a relationship between r sub i and h sub i. Well if we were to look at this thing directly from the side, and let's cut it in half, I know that that's 3 and that's 12. I know that that's R and that's H, This just that piece there, and I've got similar triangles. So I know that 12 is to 3, so the height of the tall big to the radius of the big is equal to the height of the small over the radius of the small, and 12 over 3 is just 4, so H over R always has to equal 4. Well, I want to solve this for r. Sorry, I should be using sub i's there to be accurate. So, r sub i, if I cross multiply, think of that as 4 over 1, multiply the r, r sub i up here, but also multiply the 4 down there, equals h sub i over 4. So that's what I'm going to substitute in here. So pi h sub i over 4, the quantity squared, dh. And let's do one more step of simplifying. We square this, we're going to get pi over 16, h sub i squared, dh. I like writing it like this because pi over 16 is a constant. So when I go to put together my definite integral, I'll have pi over 16 times the integral of h squared, dh. Now, last thing we need are limits. Well, our lower limit, the smallest h can possibly be is 0, largest it can be is 12, so we're going to have 0 to 12. And so we get pi over 16 times h cubed over 3 from 0 to 12. We don't need to worry about putting in the lower limit because 0 is going to 0 out the whole thing. So when we do this, we get pi over 16 times not 11, excuse me, 12 cubed over 3, which if you calculate this is not approximately, it's exactly 36 pi cubic inches. And if for some reason you need the decimal approximation, just calculate the 36 pi.